In this video, we'll learn how to render non-sequential frame ranges from Cinema 4D. This is a must-have workflow for those of us using stock Cinema 4D render farms, as this option is not offered by default. There are always those jobs where you forgot to install a font on a render node, or are suffering from a missing texture on one node for no apparent reason. The result is a peppering of bad frames throughout your rendered sequence. Instead of biting the bullet and rendering the entire sequence again hoping for the best, you can isolate the offenders and re-output them with a single render job using this method. To re-render these bad frames and frame ranges, we'll be using takes linked to different render settings with different frame ranges. Instead of manually creating each take and render setting, we'll be automating their creation with CV Frame Range, a script written by Donovan Keith from Cineversity. This turns the formerly tedious preparation of rendering multiple frame ranges into a one-click operation. Here is the render job that I got back from my farm today, and unfortunately, as I watched my movie, I was saddened to find that one of the fonts in the scene was flickering from one font to the other and back indicative of a missing font on one of my notes. After some snooping in the consoles, I found the culprit to be my rendered node, Render6. So I documented the frames that Render6 had completed on that job as a list that I could use to submit to my new render job. Before I show you the easy way, I want to show you the manual way so you know how this is working under the hood. Our first bad frame range is 55 through 57, so I'm going to make a child render setting of our main render setting using the frame range as the label. And in this render setting, we'll set the frame range to 55 through 57. Now we'll jump over to the Takes tab and create a new take. We'll give it the same label as the render setting we just created, and then we'll link the two together using the render setting dropdown. Let's go ahead and repeat that process for the next frame sequence in our list, which is just frame 77. Okay, now I'm going to mark these two takes and render them out so we can see this working. I'll go ahead and reload my sequence in After Effects now to make sure we're looking at the new frames. And now you can see our frames are good to go. So this is not that hard, right? Unfortunately, on large sequences, just tracking down the missing frames is going to be a task in itself let alone plugging them all into your render settings correctly. Enter the Cineversity Toolbox script, CV Frame Range. Let's finish off our frame ranges with the CV Frame Range script to compare the workflows. First, I'll delete the takes and render settings we previously made to give us a fresh start. Then I'll call up CV Frame Range. Up here in Plugins, we get a dialog to enter our frame range list. So paste the list in here and hit Enter. And you can see now we have all of our takes and render settings prepared, linked, and marked for render. Now all we have left to do is submit our takes for render. And there you go. All of our missing frames are now fixed. For small render farm folks like myself using the stock Maxon render farm controls, this is a huge help as you can't do this by default. Thanks to CV Frame Range, after you prepare your list, it's now painless to queue and re-render your bad frames.